If you want to know what's hot in the new August 2015 print issue of Woodworker's Journal, you've clicked on the right link for a sneak peek. We've got some sizzling content coming your way for summer woodworking. On the project side, AJ Hamler gives the iconic cedar picnic table a new design twist with a mission flare. But two benches and slatted styling really won't make this project any harder to build, even if this is the first picnic table you've ever made. And AJ shows you how to make its mortises with the simplest of tools in his new More on the Web video for August. After building AJ's picnic table, you could use that extra cedar to make a couple of Simon Watts' easy to build benches, which are also on deck in this issue. They'll only take a couple of afternoons to build, and you can use any wood you like, whether it's cedar or otherwise. For our small shop journal project this time, Larry Okren shows you how to make translucent screen shutters using a shop made router jig to form the half lap joints. They're a stylish window feature you can size to any windows in your home and they'll provide an element of privacy too without compromising light. Larry demonstrates the routing jig in his more on the web video this time. And if you like the green and green bed we featured on the cover of our February issue, then get ready for the second piece of the bedroom suite. This time, senior editor Chris Marshall is building a nightstand with closed cabinet to complement that bed. The project gave Chris a chance to try his hand at simple veneer vacuum bagging using an inexpensive kit. Watch his more on the web video for August to see that kit in action. Or if it's just too hot to be in the shop these days, we've got plenty of tool news to share for your inside reading. Pull up an easy chair for Shandor Natsalansi's primer on wood screw technology so you can learn all you need to know and more about today's latest fasteners. You'll find that article in today's shop and look for Shandor's video on this topic on our website, woodworkersjournal.com. Or tune into Ernie Conover's new More on the Web video where he discusses how to turn spindles effectively when flat spots are still required. You can read more about that in our wood turning department. Lee Industries has a new dovetail jig on the market called the RTJ400 and it will cut through or half blind dovetails and box joints in several sizes, all at the router table. Chris Marshall took it for a test drive and you can find out more about it in his tool preview article as well as another more on the web video. Finally, one of your fellow readers, Al Goldstein, will show you how to use plastic drafting triangles to super tune your table saw's miter gauge and crosscut sled in his techniques article. Then flip over from there to read letters from our mailbag or some new tricks to try from other readers. In Shop Talk, learn about a Civil War flag that was just discovered along with its elaborately carved frame. Or see what Michael Dresner has to say about water-based finishes and stains in Finishing Thoughts. All this and more is coming your way in the new August print issue. If you want to buy just this issue, renew your subscription, or shop for lots of project plans, DVDs, CDs, and some new t-shirts we've just designed, be sure to visit us online at woodworkersjournal.com. And remember, for all your woodworking supply needs, visit a Rockler store near you, or buy online at rockler.com.